I think it should be pretty obvious that I'm really into indie games by now. So when my friend told me about a game where you play as a drunken space dwarf mining rare minerals in the most dangerous planet in the known galaxy, I told him, sign me up. Deep Rock Galactic is a procedurally generated cooperative FPS that places you as one of four dwarves working for the Deep Rock Galactic Mining Company, a company that clearly only cares about one thing, profits. You're routinely sent on mining expeditions to the planet Hoxies, but here's the catch. This planet is full of overgrown and incredibly violent bugs. These monsters will stop at nothing to destroy you and your team, so it's a race against time to get what you came for and get out. If there's one thing that the dwarves will love more than precious minerals, it's beer. So in today's build, we're going to be honoring the many different selections of beer that are in the game. We're going to be modeling and printing a lot of the unique mugs that come in this game, and then we're going to build a shelf that will react with lights whenever you pick the mug up. A quick note before we get any further, you should know that eating and drinking out of printed material isn't the safest, and getting food-safe printer material and nozzles are really expensive. So instead, we're going to design the mugs to be more like sleeves for existing cups. In my particular brand of Boring Midwest, these cups are everywhere. You can probably get these at a half a dozen restaurants in a mile radius of my house. So we're going to be designing the mugs to fit these inside. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is model the mugs. Caitlin recreated one of our cups with great accuracy, so we're going to model around to fit this. I should note that while I could just pull this model straight from the game, converting models to print in multicolor isn't the easiest, and these are relatively simple to model. So let's start with the bone chilling Arkin Stout. Alright, next up, all the basic beers that give stat boosts share the same mug, just with different color palettes. So I just decided to make my own color palette for that mug. Let's move on to the most disgusting brew, Glyphid Slammer. Alright, and last up, let's mimic the seasoned Moonrider.
Alright, now while those print for a laughable amount of time, let's go ahead and start working on the shelf. So on the front facing plate, we're going to carve out a favorite saying of the dwarves. Rock and stone! So let's draw out where we're going to put this. Perfect, now let's use a plunge router to carve them out. Carl would approve of this. All right, now let's paint over what we just carved as well as the top plate. Moving on, if we want our shelf to know when we pick up a beer, we're going to need to put some IR sensors underneath each of the mugs. Let's draw out some holes to fit them. Alright, before we start mounting the electronics, let's attach the front plate with some L brackets. We're going to use two more to secure it to the wall. Okay, now let's get started on the electronics. To do everything we want, we're going to need one set of WS2812B LEDs, four IR sensors, an Arduino Uno to control them, and because the total is over the maximum current draw, we're going to need a separate power supply as well. Okay, let's work on the coding. First thing we need to do is set up each of the items that we're working with. Alright, now let's create a flag for each of the mug cases. Now let's create each individual case. Every loop is going to compare the current IR value to the one stored in memory. If it's different, it will change the stored value to match and light up the LEDs appropriately. Here's the wiring diagram for everything once it's all connected. I'll be testing in stages, but this is the final product. Alright, now let's attach the electronics. We're going to want everything mounted before we start worrying about wiring, so we're going to use some small screws to get most things attached, except for the lights, where we're going to use some glue. Alright, the last thing we have to do is wire all the components according to the diagram I showed you earlier. Alright, after almost three weeks of printing, the mugs are done. They all look 
really good, and it took a ton of time to get the support material off, but I am so happy with the result. They fit the cups perfectly, and they are a blast to drink out of. Put it all together, and the project is complete. The end result is amazing. The shelf looks really cool, and the mugs are so much fun to use. I loved building this, and it's such a cool nod to an amazing game. Let me know what game, show, or movie you want me to build something from next. I'm Some Bad Engineer, and I'll see you next time.